time for my half an hour chilling in bed and then we got to get up and go for a run. Uh, just lying here thinking about how I got to get up when my next alarm goes off and go for a run. I'm not enthusiastic. But this is the thing, if you only get up and do things in the mornings when you're feeling enthusiastic, you'll probably never do anything. You have to know that you're probably going to feel better once you get up and get going. And to be honest, I think even if I slept in till, I don't know, 9 or 10, I still probably wouldn't want to get up and go for a run either. I do need to work on getting a bit more sleep though because I think I wasn't asleep till half twelve so I got about five and a half hours sleep which is okay but it's definitely under <sighs> the eight hours you're supposed to get but tomorrow I can have a bit more of a lion so that's nice. When your second alarm goes off and you know it's really time to move. No, don't make me. If I just ignore it, we'll go away. Hmm. Right, come on. We're up. We are up. I don't know how well you can see, but it does currently seem to be raining. Yesterday was so beautiful, it was like 27 degrees and I was having a picnic with my friends in the evening. What happened? But we don't let that stop us. I'm going to go and put my waterproof on, suck it up and go and smash out the 7k. Does anyone else try and sing to themselves on their rungs? I always try and sing along to my music, um, but I really don't have enough breath to do that. So it sounds horrendous. And sometimes someone will come around the corner and I'm just singing super badly, missing out half the words to breathe. And I'm like, hey! I've done this route a lot and I know this is the bit it gets hard. This stretch here just seems to go on forever and it's where I can let my speed drop so need to be tough suck it up power through Run is done. Super good speed too. Really pleased. Really tired, but really pleased. I'm sure all fitness people can relate to that feeling of getting back from a workout where it's been really quite sticky. Like I was wishing I'd left my jacket at home because it hardly rained at all. And it's that really hot, humidy weather. And as I was coming back up, <coughs> sorry, still a bit out of breath. As I was coming back up the stairs from my block, I was just like, oh my gosh, I hope I don't see anyone. I literally need to go and shower absolutely right this second. I'll chat properly after I am less disgustingly red. So that's me showered and looking a bit more like an ordinary human now. But 
being sweaty and out of breath was definitely worth it because that run went really well. I was really pleased with my pace and I'm beginning to feel like I am getting faster over longer distances. My ultimate aim before the summer is to try and run a 10k in under 55 minutes. So if training keeps going that well, fingers crossed we'll manage. Yes, I was really out of breath and there were times that it hurt and I wanted to slow down, but that's where the division between those who succeed and those who don't is. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that's what I tell myself. When half my head is saying, oh, this is so tiring, I need to stop. That's the moment where your workout starts to count. That's where you need to say, how badly do I want this? Because if you want it badly enough, you are gonna push through the hardship. And the thing is, when you get to the end, that feeling of success and triumph and pride in yourself comes from knowing that you gave 100%. I was watching Emily Hayden's videos. I mentioned her on the channel before. I'll link her in the description. And she said something that really hit home with me. This was actually of quite a few videos ago, but I just thought about it, which is your 100% might not be the same on each day because every day you feel different. Some days you feel better than other days. But regardless of how you feel, you give your best for that day. And if you do that all the time, you will be successful. Running is just a metaphor for life, really. The more effort you put in, the better results you're gonna get. I think that part of the reason I personally get so much satisfaction about workouts that are harder is because I know what it's like to not use your body to its full potential. For years, I was strolling through life, overweight and unfit and wasting really what my body was capable of. So I feel privileged now to know that I am experiencing the max that my body can do. I still think I have a lot of training to do. I think my body has a lot more to give, but the fact that I'm beginning to unlock what I might be capable of is something that's really exciting and something that I definitely wasn't doing before. So knowing that I am treasuring this gift of life, and I know that sounds unbelievably cheesy, it makes me kind of cringe saying it, but if you're not pushing yourself and using your maximum potential, then that potential is being wasted. So look at it as a gift to be able to find things hard because so many people will never get the chance to discover that incredible feeling you get from knowing that you pushed yourself. So don't look at this as a video about running. Look at this as a video about life. And remember, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks for watching and ta-ta for now.